Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Nana Fosu Jiabos Park here in Bechem. It's match day 23 of the Ghana Premier League between United and Great Olympics. The two teams come into this game from similar fortunes from match day 22. Olympics were held at home by Wafa to a two-all drawn game and Bechem United picked up a valuable point away in dreams. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse. Together with Philip Sichope Astream, we're your commentators for this Monday afternoon fixture in Bechem. Yeah, Bechem. This place impregnable, undefeated by Bechem United. Nobody has picked maximum points from here. Only two sides have come here to pick anything. All of those were one point. To add to that, they've only conceded one. So when you step up here, the fans are expecting their team to, to at least draw a game. And for Olympics, they'll be hoping to upset that. But they've not got a rich away form. And that could be why the game in this one is still turned towards Bechem United, who are eyeing the second spot. Bechem, third on the league log, some 38 points, but just two points better than Olympics, who lie two places below Bechem United on the fifth spot on 36 points. Coach Mingelo Kansi, one of the coaches who have been really consistent with his lineups, he makes just one change. Aziz Latif makes way for Paul Quaid Jr. Augustin Okra and Imanol are not leading the attack with Karim, Dodu, Chene, and Oboba Dasi forming a four-man midfield with Esel, Agbesima, and then Kufo in that three-back being played by Okan Simengo. Yeah, very flexible three-back when this manager calls it. They've got the ability to change into a 4-3-3, sometimes 4-4-2, it could be 4-5-1 as well. Very dynamic. Great Olympics, they've made a number of changes. George Asamoah is not in the team. Amos a champion slot scene. Jamal Dean is out. Oko Gripman steps in in central defense. And Maxwell Abekwe, whose goals have dried up in recent times, will be leading the attack under the tutelage of Anna Walker this afternoon. Yeah. Key player missing for them is Kasimi in the middle of the park. So the Ansman has been transferred to Philip Saki, who will be playing on the right back. Olympics as well have got a solid back when they when they're on their game but the problem has been the fact that their leading goal scorer they're more they're more dependable goal scorer hasn't fired enough but they'll be hoping that today's the day he starts firing because when he's called it's important for them max okay samuel ama also provides presence game underway here at the nana for sujia boss park in bechemis united and great olympics here is augustin okra but his effort now are coming co Onto the part of a champion who swings in across. Clinton Dodu defends well as controls the ball down for his goalkeeper. Yeah, very good positioning by him, Clinton Dodu. You know, when the game is on the far side, you, you don't want it's going to be squeezing. Look at where the third centre back is. It's just Osei Kufo. So he needs to track back to fill the void. Where and Okra to the near post, but goalkeeper. Quay Jr. looking dangerous. Now here is Augustin Okra! <laughs> Amazing finish on his weaker right foot. And Augustin Okra scores his 10th goal of the season and puts Bechem United ahead at 11 minutes. It's Bechem United 1, Olympics nil. But it all started from the long throw in here and what an ability by Quay Jr. Dancing through the defenders and laying it up for Okra who has all the time to turn, and once he turns, it's on his weaker foot. But what he does here is to make sure that he's not leaning the back while he drags the ball. He's just keeping his low sense of gravity quite low so you could control the effort. And the effort's actually rising, but it's rising into the roof of the net. The more reason why it's difficult for the goalkeeper to save it. It's a very good goal. From one simple throw in, the ability of Quay Jr. And then the, the finishing prowess of Augustus of room for catch up. A ball from a coming cut to Abikwe. Abikwe, good goalkeeping. His effort not powerful. With confidence in front of goal because the pass over the top is really good. He's got the pace to get around this man. And a more confident Quay strikes that with a lot more intent and venom. Quay Jr.'s delivery. Isel has lost possession. Here is Sule. 
Kieris Sule, now Samo Ama Sule. Ama, what a miss. Glorious opportunity for the equalizer, flopped by Samuel Ama. Made the halftime drinks taste a lot better for Olympics. Sule and Ama, lovely one, two, back to Ama. But he just blazed that over the bar. He should be keeping it down, at least testing the goalkeeper from there. It was Essel who lost the ball at his own half, and Sule won his game. They nearly combined to get Olympics that equalizer, and the referee, Abdul Latifa Dari, whistles for the end. As the chairman United might just want to consolidate that lead and grab the mark. Here's Yao Dasi. Good skill from Yao Dasi. And he's missed from that range. About perfect Dasi. Busting through. And the ball. Here he's just trying to kill it into the far corner and he hits the post. And the other wing back. Dodu can't make a clean connection. That is how high those wing backs can attack. Dasi running through bodies. Unfortunately hitting the woodwork. And Dodu. On the rebound, almost. Oh. Samuel Ama wins possession for Olympics. Here is Samuel Ama. Now coming back to Ama. He's up against Osei Kufo. He wins the ball at the expense of Kufo. Yeah, that's the, the ball. That was lovely ball and back into Ama. Ama used his body really well to shake his man off. And again, he picked his head up and there was nobody in the box, so he had to take on another. Murad loses out. Here is Abdul Karim. For Ano, it's Ano up against Gripman. Here is Emmanuel Ano. Good drive, good save from Ismaila. This time Olympics. Now the effort again from Ano. Yeah, he's going for power. I thought he was going to open up himself and kill that one to the far post. Instead, he tried to go for the power into the near post. Didn't quite manage to get it to the near side. The height circle for has gone in there. Beautiful play from Paul Quay Jr. Lovely skill onto his left foot. And his air feet in tight areas. That is Paul Quay Jr. Lovely turn. Then the step over and the body swerve away from his man. Just can't strike the ball well with his left. Sule's corner straight to Idrisu. Yeah, the ball is into the area where you expect the goalkeeper to claim it right into a 6 yard area too close to him, not good enough. Akamen Kong, Abdul Karim, Hafiz Konkoni, good ball to Ano. Here is Quay Jr. He goes down. So that's the ball into the box from Ano, first touch. Not the worst, second touch a lot better. I think it's good defending there by Adumako. Adumako got the ball, not the man. And it's, it's Craig Jr. who's actually falling over. And while he's falling, he's... Yeah, there, that's the contact on the ball. Quite firmly, and he's falling over and it's wicked. Sule's ball straight to Idrisu. Yeah, again, too close to him in his territory. He's a big lad. That's how he claims that one. Here is Akamenko. A champion. He's got Abekwe on his right. He sets up Abekwe. Flag stays down. Sule has missed. Great Olympics for football. Yeah, beautiful football. Kwe is onside here. He's been played on by Bafo. Expecting Sule to do better. He's just, it's a really poor finish because he's not hit it with any real intent. He's actually just toe poked it off. Some sort, he should be hitting it with the inside of the foot. Takes the whistle to his mouth and he blows it for the end of the game here. Adan and Afo Sujia was parking Bechem full time. Bechem United won. Great Olympics, Neil.